So the next part in our quest to download Windows 11 onto an older laptop is to get a copy of the Windows 11 ISO. And to do that, just go into um, Google, type in Windows 11 ISO, and you'll come to the Windows 11 download page, the official one from Microsoft. Now, you've got two options for downloading the ISO image. First of all is this section here which will just download the ISO um, straight away. Or you've got this one here. Um, and I use this one here about using the installation media because actually it's slightly quicker and the file is slightly smaller than this option here. Don't ask me why, it just is. So all we would do here is just click on download and there you go, you can see that I've downloaded it multiple times. And we're gonna say yes, we want it to start working. And then we're just gonna click on accept. And then I'm just going to accept those, use those um, options there. That's fine. And on this section here, you want to do the ISO file. We don't want to do the USB flash drive. We want to do the ISO file. And it will be obvious why we want to just do the ISO file um, in the next stage of the installation. But at this point, just trust me and select that. Right, I want it to store. This is where do you want it to save it to? I want it on my desktop so it's nice and obvious I don't forget it. And it's just going to save it as Windows 11, Windows. OK, so now the download is finished and it's just checking it and making sure that it's the download is a workable copy. OK, so there we go. You can see that the download has completed and it's checked it out and it believes it to be OK. So if you just want to check just to make sure, for instance, I've got it on my desktop here. So that is absolutely fine if we check the um, check the properties just to make sure that it is completed the download and it's an ISO file. And there we go. So the next stage is where we're going to download another piece of free and fantastic software that turns this ISO file into a bootable USB drive. And not only does it, stand, does it turn it into a bootable, a standard bootable USB drive, but it turns it into a bootable USB drive for Windows 11 for an older laptop. OK, so we have got the Windows 11 ISO file and we've got our old laptop. Now what we need to do is we need to download a piece of software called Rufus. It's totally free and it's safe. It's a great piece of software. And this converts that ISO file into, into something, into a bootable system that goes onto a USB stick. So at this point, you do need your USB stick. You need at least eight gigabytes of a USB stick that you don't, you only want to use for this because when it creates this bootable Windows 11, it's going to wipe everything else off. And this is a really small piece of software, so it downloads in seconds. So as you can see, I typed into Google Rufus USB. And here we go. The download is just here. 3.2 is the latest um, version. 
and then you can see in the downloads it appears up there and here we go so in the first section here what you want to do is you want to this needs to select your USB stick that you've put in okay and then this section here we want that ISO file so we're going to go to the desktop and that Windows file and we're going to select that this image option keep it as standard Windows installation don't do Windows to go and then this is the most important thing here really um, the MBR partition option here is for older laptops. Those, those are laptops which just use a standard BIOS to start up. Sorry, standard BIOS to start, to start up. The other option for slightly newer laptops is GPT, which uses the UF, UEFI uh, startup system. But for this video, I'm going to do the, the MBR. And then everything else is we you don't have to touch. And then you can just set it off on its way. As soon as you press start, this is where the magic happens. Because what it is, what uh, Rufus is doing here is it's making it's making this um installation so that it can go on an old laptop it's basically doing it's basically providing some hacks so that um yeah so that windows 11 can be um put onto an old laptop so make sure at least these two options these top options are selected and um i would also go for disable the data collection which will just speed up the process a little bit more. And then when, when those two or three options are selected, just press OK. It will give you a warning to say that your USB stick will be completely wiped. And you can see on the screen at the bottom, there's a green progress bar. And at the moment, it's just at 1%. So this will take about 15 to 20 minutes in my experience. And this is where it's applying the Windows customizations or those hacks that enable us to install Windows 11 on older laptops. And there we go. We now have a usable USB stick with Windows 11 on it. So the next stage is to stick, put the stick into the laptop and then install Windows 11. Hello everyone, welcome to another video by Upgrade or Trash It. In this video, I've got the HP 2560P and I'm going to be walking you through how to install Windows 11 onto it. OK, so let's get the thing started. As soon as the splash screen comes up, 
pressing F9. And I'm going to go for the USB hard drive. So this laptop was originally launched in 2012. It's got an i5 second generation processor in it. It originally came with two gigabytes of RAM, 320 gigabyte hard disk drive, that's SATA. It's got a tiny screen, 12.5 inches, and it came with Windows 7 32-bit copy. I've since upgraded it. It's now got eight gigabytes of RAM, and instead of a hard disk drive, it's got a solid state drive in it. Okay, so I'm going to keep it as United Kingdom. United Ke Kingdom keyboard, don't want a second keyboard. Okay, so connecting the Wi-Fi. Excellent. That Okay, excellent. That's a successful install of Windows 11 onto the HP 2560p. And that is about, took about 15 minutes. So what I just quickly want to do is I want to check how successful by looking up a few things. So firstly, I want to check to see if this copy of Windows 11 is activated. And it is activated, which is great. Next, I want to see if it allows us to update itself. 
So let's click on that. And whilst that's doing its stuff, you can see how responsive this copy of Windows 11 is. When I move the mouse, it's moving on screen. And when I click, when I click on something, I get immediate something immediately happens and also when I then type on the keyboard something also immediately happens so that's good let's check on those updates okay excellent so it is allowing us to update there's a few updates there that we could install if we wanted and the final check I'm going to make is I'm going to shut this laptop down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to time how long it takes to start up. So here we go started it up. How quickly does it begin to work? When we did this on the same laptop on Windows 10, it was 30 seconds. Wow, that's pretty good. That is just over 30 seconds as well. So there you have it. That's a step-by-step -step guide about installing Windows 11 onto an HP 2560P that's got eight gigabytes of RAM and an SSD drive. Thank you for watching.